The Interceptor 650 was introduced by Royal Enfield in November 2017. The 648 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine produces 48 horsepower at 7,150 RPM and 52 newton meters of torque at 5,250 RPM. In the US, currently the bikes retails new for about $6,500 making them one of the most affordable new base bikes to modify into a cafe racer, scrambler or street tracker. In previous design concepts we modified a Continental GT into a classic cafe racer and speedster. Another concept was based on a 650 interceptor into a custom scrambler. Today we want to modify a base interceptor 650 into a custom street tracker in 10 main steps. All parts used for the modifications are modified original parts of the base bike or available via aftermarket third-party vendors. Before starting with the first modifications, we have to remove the stock mirrors, the rear fender, rear turn signals, the license plate holder and the tail light. We also remove the original instruments, the headlight and headlight brackets, front turn signals, and the front fender as well as the original seat. Finally, for now we also remove the original mufflers. In the next step, we are shortening the rear frame to fit the new street tracker style seat. This step requires some metal cutting and welding to fit the new short tail section. There are several aftermarket options available for the new shorter frame section. Now we install the new Street Tracker style seat and seat cushion. Instead of the original mufflers, we modify the original exhaust pipes into straight side pipes, which will not be street legal in most areas, but they sound great. Next, we switch the tank color to a basic black to match the color of the side panels and seat. In addition to the black tank, we also black out the foot brake lever and gear lever, the air intake and throttle body, the top of the rear springs, the footrest bracket and the inside of the front wheel hub. Now we install the new Street Tracker headlight style number panel with integrate LED headlights. For the tail light and rear turn signals there are several options to integrate them into the shorter frame or directly into the rear seat. Instead of the original front turn signals, we add integrated front turn signals Since there is no more room for the original instrument dash, we install a smaller integrated LED one. Since we started out with a base bike with an original orange tank, and this color options comes with chrome wheels, we now switch the original chrome wheels to black. And let's look at the original red tank option since the red tank color option already comes standard with black wheels. In closing, here are some other tank color options for the current build. This concludes today's design ideas and modifications to turn the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 into a street tracker. Some states and areas require rear and front fender to be street legal. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.